The Digital Economy Bill was passed on the last day of Parliament and states that broadband services can be removed from any recipient who is seen to allow misuse, for example, music downloading. This bill could have a massive effect on the hospitality industry in that hotels, restaurants, etc., who offer a free broadband service within their establishment could lose their broadband access. Will the candidates pledge to have this bill repealed? Gareth. Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Your party voted for it. They voted for it. Yeah. It went well, through without opposition. Well, one of the points that was made earlier on is what happens when you disagree with your party. Um, my, my, my view is, is that you're here as a member of parliament to represent the people that elect you. And that often you're going to disagree with your party and that often you're going to stand up uh, to much criticism from the whips and take a vote that goes against the party line. And I'll never shy away from doing that, so I don't really care how my party voted. If it's bad for the people here in this community, and I believe that that sort of legislation is bad uh, for tourism and, 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 and other industries, uh, then it's bad for me. So the answer is yes. I'll give you a yes as well. Uh, Jonathan, the Digital Economy Bill was rushed through at the last minute, uh, massively draconian, and effectively was written by the industry. Um, and, and that's one of the dangers you have when you have politicians too close to very powerful <coughs> invested interests. So we voted against it at the time, and yes, we would repeal it. Um, it is clearly going to be a, a huge worry for people who are uh, hoteliers, B&B owners, and indeed other businesses where there is uh, broadband access, internet access uh, granted on the premises, because you'll have done absolutely nothing wrong, but somebody who may be staying with you could do, and you end up taking the hit, not them. And that's a massive risk, but that's not the only reason to be opposed to this. It's massively illiberal. It's symptomatic, I think, of what this government has been about this last 13 years, which is to be meddling and interfering and to make legislation always for the sake of it. Yes, there were things that need tidying up in the digital economy, no two ways about it, but the bill was far too far-reaching, far too heavy-handed, and rushed through at the, at the last minute, so wrong and badly put together.